I literally, I don't know what to do. I, I don't know what to do. Mm. These are the things that make me. <sighs> A new home for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Hey, hey, welcome back, beautiful people. If you remember from last week, we were off on a roughly 400 nautical mile sail south to a small Tuamoto Atoll called Rauria and having a fantastic sail alongside SV Delos. We were seeing perfect winds on our port beam and Va was putting up very impressive numbers, sailing along as if she was released from the gates at a racing track. As I'm sure you're aware, every passage is different of course, and even our energy differs greatly from one day to the next when underway. So it's a treat to have both great conditions and high spirits. So we kind of all just settled into enjoying our time, which for me is almost always most enjoyable while working on some boat project here or there. And there were two things that I hoped to finish while underway. First was to fabricate a Kydex holder for our new Dan Boy emergency life preserver. I love this stuff. It's heat malleable and available in many different sizes, thicknesses, and of course colors. I end up using it all around the dang boat. Super handy stuff. Yeah, I did. And I also wanted to wrap the sunbeaten helm wheel with new whipping cord. The leather cover that Va came with has been baked in the sun over the last six years and was only holding on by threads. So instead of buying a new one for over $300, I bought 300 feet of 1 16th inch paracord for $60 and spent the next, oh, I don't know, seven or eight hours over three consecutive days wrapping the helm. I literally, I don't know what to do. I, I don't know what to do. This is part of the, the struggles that we continue to face. We absolutely thought that this was solved. And this is like a very crucial moment to be having the motors. Um, be going inside these passes. <sighs> Obviously, it feels like I've checked everything, but I haven't, clearly. Um. Brian said he would tow us if we needed it. With what? Bellows. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Where is he? They're behind us. Oh. All right. Start her up. Okay. You better go get that. Yeah. Go ahead, Delos. Hey, I think last time we just went off Macamo because it's close. Is that what you guys did before? Yeah, we just looked at the tag tables for Macamo and uh, it said what? 
5.30 or what time is it now? <laughs> yeah, but I think it should be flooding until uh, like 10 or something. Yeah, I have eyes on it now. It does look like it's kind of slacking off a little bit, but there is a little bit of uh, standing waves on the outside, but not much. Yeah, I think we've been through this one like when it was going at four knots or something, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, not too bad if you have motors, so <laughs> we need to get this fixed. Alright, I'll let you go and uh, I think we're about 30 minutes away. Alright, no worries, we'll see you shortly. I really don't know what to do. Is it both motors or just one? Just one, just one motor. The other one's holding strong, has no issue. But this one has always been the trouble one since this whole fuel thing started on our way up there last year. So, you had said that you checked the lines, right? I cleared the lines, okay. so there's nothing in the lines. But what about like right where the attachment for that point there? I mean, the next thing to do is to take everything apart. But we're talking about hours of work. Check every line, check every connection. Um, I have a secondary spare electric fuel pump that I could put in place and power it up and see but like we need to be at anchor to do all this so we're talking about hours of work um, I think we need to get the motor running motor the good one and power over there and hit this thing at slack tide with one motor and get in there and I think we need to be maybe even drop the dinghy when we get close and be ready to tie up the dinghy on the um, starboard side yeah, yeah yeah that's an option do okay. we put up the drone uh, no. Obviously stuff like this is very high stress, so it doesn't, yeah. From here it definitely looks slack. It looks slack right it's hard now. to tell on the camera, but there is just a small current line. We, um, I mean I can think of some places that I would not want to do only have one motor, and this is right at the top of the list. Hello, 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 this is Bob. Hey, Bob. We're gonna pull a monohole move and just use one motor. I like it. Okay, <laughs> we will be, are you guys going in now? Nope, it's slack. Yeah, we're approaching, it looks pretty slack to us. Um, so if anything happens, will you just kind of push us through? Alrighty, we'll be right behind you. Okay, thank you. End. And then we're heading to the north end, right? Yeah, exactly. But I was thinking a little bit south of the where the yacht club deal is. Okay, copy that. Sounds good. We'll just kind of wait once we get inside, though. Yep. Yeah. Sounds good. Mm. These are the things that make me. <sighs> So if you're watching this and thinking to yourself, what is the big deal? People sail around all the time with one motor, sometimes none. Well, yeah, you'd be 100% right. But let me just clear this up and let you know why this is kind of precarious for us. Catamarans can move around on one motor fairly well. The caveat is that it is absolutely paramount that you keep your speed up at all times to keep as much water speed over the rudders. And you definitely lose at least a portion of your available control. And if something should come up in either the pass, or even while navigating around the balmy filled interior lagoon, we could be in a bit of trouble to control our girl out of harm's way. So all those gray hairs on your head are not from me. They're, they're from the boat. A few so. of them are from situations like this. Luckily for us, we had amazingly and without any planning on our end, arrived right at slack tide, and it was turning out to be no trouble whatsoever, but nonetheless a maneuver we would never try during full flood. Of course, that does not stop us from feeling at least a little nervous. So aside from our current issue, how was is the sail overall? And I tell you what, it was one of the better sails that we've ever had, and for sure we put up the most, um, like we sailed the best. New head sail, like you had said earlier, the new head sail, the new uh, folding props are huge, and then the, the clean bottom, of course, any boat loves that. So, really great sail, good winds, good people, had a good time. 
I'm sure. Good. Great sail. And now we're going to one of our favorite spots ever. We're kind of just going to run through uh, the last of French Polynesia and hit our, our favorites, huh? Yeah, this is just like our last goodbye, unfortunately. Ah, man! Sorry. But yeah, say goodbye to our favorite spots. Well, that's it. We've dropped we've dropped the anchor in freaking paradise. We got Delos right in front of us, which is always nice to have our friends around. Wow, that was a quick passage. We actually did it in two days. What was it? Two days and three quarters of a day. And, uh, two days and three quarters of a day. Yeah, two and three quarters <laughs> of a day. The last time we did it, it took us five. So this was we. Yeah, we kicked that. We did. We boot scoot and boogied. <laughs> Man, this paradise sounds so happy to be here. It's a little weird dropping the hook with one motor, but I guess I gotta figure that out. <laughs> yeah, time to get in, check it out. get in and splash around and thrash about. Only Tom does that one from the bow. Distract. <laughs> He'll distract them, yeah. You don't have to outrun a bear, do you? Just Tom. Just your friend. Alright, go check the anchor. Okay. Make sure we're good. Say hi to the shark friends for me. Oh, Really lovely. Oh, we're a good team. So happy to be here. Cheers. Fish. Okay, you do that again. <laughs> okay, Much now. better. All right. Now, see <laughs> no pressure, please. I can't do it. Yeah, you can. Come on, be real. <laughs> I can't lose the smile. Maybe that's perfect. <laughs> nope. Okay, well, come on. Are you ready? Show me. <sighs> wow. That one way. Pepsi. Okay, well, now <laughs> I know what you were after. What? Oh, you want to try I'll again? Do it again. Now I, now I understand. <laughs> no way, no way. No, I can't do Okay. figure it out? I'm sorry I did a really poor job of filming this because I hate when I have absolutely no idea. I mean, literally it could take hours and just like, you know, taking off this, checking this line, whatever. What I decided to do was the first things first, 
I do have a spare brand new fuel pump that I put in place and then that didn't do it so I have an electric spare uh, diesel fuel pump that I hooked up just because it's a long way from the tank on the other side mm. all the way to this and I always kind of thought that the priming bulb was like acting really weird so I plugged both of them in right now I have the diesel electric pump running as well and everything's perfect it's running exactly as it should so I think what I'll do next is take out the electric one now that I know I have fresh fuel no air gaps you know all that all the way to that motor mm -hmm. and uh, take that out and make sure that it's still running right but it should this yes. is great God. so happy what a relief what me. a freaking relief yeah so yeah that's it nicely done thank you very much now it's hard to work in paradise it like is this, man. so hard to work in this paradise but I don't have any more work to do the water's running you know that's a lie I have so much work to do. I know you have so much work but may we wow. celebrate? Yeah, what do you have in mind? I was kind of thinking we have a bonfire tonight. Oh man, that's a great idea. Look at this beach. Get Dallas and whoever else we can and get a bonfire going. It is yeah. Tekken, Tekken second last long, right? Tom's <laughs> oh second God. last night. Tom's second last night. The excitement, I can absolutely tell when Warren uh, gets too excited, his words don't exactly come out. No, my brain goes faster than my mouth. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, baby, I'm so proud. I'm so Thank happy you. and Thank thankful you that much. you've figured it out. Yeah. 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 How special is this, huh? Oh, I'm so happy we're back here. I know! Just like everything about it. Seriously, I just. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I feel so happy. Craving right now. this for such a long time. <gasps> oh, look at these God. sharks. Wow, look at them. It's a baby. Oh my gosh. A big one. So crap. Oh jeez. So I do this all the time. I start a project and uh, went right into it. I'm like, geez, I should be recording this because this one's actually kind of cool. We have this, sun we'll start over here. We have this sunscreen that kind of came with the boat and I put on the sides because it just needed a little bit more. It's okay, but it lets a lot of sun through, man. And these are hot, hot days. So for like a year, I've kind of been dreaming on how I could redo this. and. Uh, and these kids are having a blast today. <laughs> kind of a little jealous. Yeah, so I've been thinking how I could actually make this a fabric sunscreen and make it better. And Erica also really loves to be able to see out it. So I kind of want to have it like a two part thing. So for a while now I've drawn up this sunscreen and uh, played with different ideas. And what I've decided to go with is these, I have these carbon fiber tubes that I found on Amazon. Actually, I source everything on Amazon nowadays, it seems like. But uh, these are good, solid, you know, carbon fiber tubes. And I have these sweet, I mean, just for through searching, I found these, these Bates plates that are two inch, same as the diameter of the tube. And so the sunscreen will tie to this and uh, we can make it larger. And again, I said, it's gonna be two pieces. So it'll be the main permanent piece. It's like kind of a, a brow. And then there'll be like the big screen that you can put down when it's really sunny and, uh, or really stormy. Um, and if you notice, there's a wire off at the top of here because, I mean, while I'm at it, I was like, well, I, you know, 
probably should add lights to it. So I've built these pretty sweet lights. I found all this stuff online and most of it on Amazon as well. Um, I actually built my own lights out of uh, acrylic. It's a one inch acrylic piece and I embedded, I kind of, uh, well, drilled it out essentially and I put LEDs in there. I mean, I've, I've made everything. So I had to drill, I had to drill this out for the bolt. I had to drill and tap this one with a hole for the, for the wire. Um, but, and I had this, this, I had this welded on so that I can attach the, uh, the fabric to it. And uh, when all put together, it's gonna look like this and it's gonna just sit on there and I'll have it turn on every time the uh, mass light goes on, which is of course wired to a uh, solar cell. So as the sun dips and it gets dark, then it turns on automatically. It's not something we you know, have to worry about, but God, this, this is gonna be really neat. So I, at least I have both of them mounted on both sides and uh, got them glued in today. So I guess the next step is gonna be a bunch of sewing. You guys, this is gonna be neat. I don't think I've ever seen a boat with anything like this. Not, not a catamaran, not a sailing boat anyways. So the main motivation here, in case you were wondering, is two things. Obviously it's nice in these very warm tropics to be able to sometimes limit the amount of sunshine blasting in our back deck. But also because for whatever reason, this boat was designed with a coach roof that does not quite extend fully over the back area. So when it rains, it gets quite wet in the back and it is so nice to be able to keep the majority of that out if possible. It definitely took a bit of work over several days, but man, we are stoked on this portion of the new rear sunshade. And if you're wondering about the larger second part of this shade that I mentioned, well, yeah, sorry, you're just gonna have to keep following along to see the final portion and the finish of this project in an upcoming video. Okay. And uh, thank you guys as well for having me. Yeah, yeah it's been great. It has been great. Thanks for uh, yeah. being help. just legends and making Man, me feel comfortable you. at home. You're awesome. <laughs> if I left anything, just bring it to Greek. Okay. <laughs> uh, thank you. See you again, I'm sure. It has honestly been a pleasure having Tom aboard. An unbelievable amount of help, to be quite honest with you. Um, I can't even imagine what the yard would be like if it was just Warren and I and all the work that we had to do. So he is a true legend for just honestly dedicating his time, helping us. Um, and so I wish him the best of luck for his next adventures. We'll miss you, Tom. Yeah, we're sailing, baby. Yeah. yeah.
As sad as it is to see friends go, it's also nice to get the boat back to ourselves. And we actually needed a little time to reconnect a bit. And also just to slow down and breathe too. I mean, it had been months since we had been home, alone. For the last three months straight, we have been doing hard sailing, or flying thousands of miles between several different countries, living out of a backpack, or seeing friends and family sleeping in foreign beds, or worse still, living on the hard, breaking our backs, trying to get the laundry list of items completed in the yard. That's taxing on any spirit, not to mention a marriage. Hey, babe. This is all right. Yeah. You okay with it? Floating with the view. Yeah. Look at that. That's so pretty. Beautiful. Storyline paradise. It is paradise. But this was just the spot to do all that, maybe even have a little fun while we're at it. This place has always been one of our favorites, with unspeakable beauty, good holding with minimal bombies to worry about, safely nestled behind the reef from storms and swell, and plenty to explore. I've ever been. Very special. Yeah. Uh, disappearing too. I know, right? Yeah. Well, guys, if you're uh, some of the few that made it this far, thank you very much for sticking it through the whole video. We really appreciate that. Of course, a very special thank you goes out to all our Patreons. Without you guys, no way this would be going on still. And uh, we just really hope you guys have a really good rest of your week. Thanks for watching. Cheers.